Yeah, really good question. Um, first and foremost, uh, Jake Spavador is unbelievable. Um, he is a bright mind. He's um, a genius. I love the way he calls plays. Um, um, he's um, got the kids' best interests at heart. You know what I mean? He wants to do something in this program that's never been done before, and um, I absolutely love that. Um, he's consistent every single day in his approach. When he gets through, through these doors, you know exactly what's on his mind. He wants to take this place somewhere it's never been. And for me, that's something I want to be a part of. I like doing things for the first time. Uh, when I got a chance to uh, work at Liberty a couple years ago, back in 2019, um, Liberty was an FCS program in 18. And so at 19, it had never been to a bowl game. And we went eight and five and won the first bowl game ever and did all those things for the first time. And so to see those kids light up and be a part of that experience, um, I'm really, really excited to do some of those same things here uh, with the, in the lives of our kids here and, uh, and be a part of it with Coach Spav. Uh, absolutely love his um, approach and demeanor. Um, he's a great man, great husband, uh, great coach. And so that's the biggest reason. I want to work for someone like that, you know. Oh my goodness, I absolutely love my room. Uh, first and foremost, it's my first year coaching backs. I've always been about around wide outs. And so um, when you get around those guys, you know you got you to gotta deal with egos. And uh, most of the time, you got three wide outs on the field at one time, but it's only one ball. And everybody wants the football thrown to them. And, uh, but you got one back, it's easier to watch those guys, easier to get them lined up. Uh, my guys show up every single day with a great approach. And um, they're, they're business-like minded. Um, they want to be great. They want to be coached. Uh, they challenge me from an everyday perspective of making sure I'm consistent in my approach as well. And um, so those guys are learning not, not necessarily the what, but the why. Like, why are we asking you to do these particular things? I can see their football IQ raising off the charts. And I talk to them every day about being a pro in their approach. And so from a mentality standpoint, especially for the guys that want to play on Sunday one day, what are you doing now to create those habits so that if you get that opportunity, you're not recreating habits? You've been a pro since your college days. So when you become a pro, you, you don't know any different. And so they hear me say that every single day. And, uh, but I love my group. Uh, we don't have any issues whatsoever on or off the field. Um, those guys are bought in. They make my job extremely easy. And um, hats off to Coach Witt. You know, he did a great job recruiting a great room, not necessarily from a skill set perspective, but just great people as well. Those kids are awesome, awesome, man. My whole approach has been these last two weeks is I want them to know that they got my best interest. Uh, that they got my best interest for sure. And, um, and they don't necessarily care what you know until they know that you care first and foremost. And so the first month here, my whole objective was to make sure that they knew I was bought into the whole person. And um, I can definitely see that they're responding to that. I hope that they would know by now uh, where my heart is in it, you know. So uh, that's been my whole approach, just make sure those kids know that I'm bought in, not necessarily into the player, but the person first, and then all, everything else kind of falls in place. So. All right, so first and foremost, every single day, we, work, we um, open up every meeting with Play the Man. And Play the Man looks at what a man should look like. We live our life to the standard of, a, you know, of a, what a man looks like. And so I share with those guys every single day times in my life where I've got it wrong. Um, the other day, I'm being very vulnerable here, but uh, so I wake up every day and I want to be the best husband, father, and man I can be and then the best mentor, coach, and leader I can possibly be. And uh, I've been failing at being a better husband and father. And so I've shared with those guys, you know, times in which I've got that wrong and ways I can do it right and, and be better. So that one day when they're, those, they're in those shoes, you know what I mean, they don't make those same mistakes or where I took a left, they should have probably took a right. Um, so I share those uh, situations with those guys. And the first five to 10 minutes, we don't talk ball um, of any meeting. We start off with play the man every single day. And, um, and then we get into the X's and O's of what we're approaching the day with. So. Oh, it's, it's been phenomenal. What, what has kind of been the learning curve Definitely. I, I don't know that I want to go back, to be quite honest. I got, you know, um, I absolutely love coaching backs. Um, you know, as a wide out guy, you don't realize what all goes on in that backfield. Um, and I aspire to be an OC one day, and so I appreciate the opportunity to do it because now I'm include, I'm clued in on big picture now. And um, I appreciate the box, the communication up front with the old line, communication with the tight ends communication with the quarterbacks and all the things that go on in order to get the ball on the perimeter into the wide house hands. Um, in the past, I've only been, you know what I mean, concerned with run the right route, create separation, get open, and when the ball is thrown to you, go make a play. It's been that simple. Uh, but now in my approach, I really appreciate the big picture. And so, you know, if I ever coach back, I mean, wide house in the future, you know what I mean, there's a deeper appreciation of all that has to happen in order for us to get the ball thrown to us in the backfield. 
Um, but I absolutely love coaching backs. It's a totally different mentality. It's a physical and violent approach to everything that we do. I talk to the guys every day about three things, three Ps. So pro mentality, protection, which protection of the football, protection of the quarterback, and then produce when the ball is in your hands. They hear me say that every single day. It's almost like a prayer for us. Three Ps every single day. But um, I really, really enjoy coaching backs. Um, I, I love my room. They make it very, very easy and simple for me. I show up every day on 10, and I'm really excited about what I do to coach those guys. It's not work for me. It's a lot of fun. When I walk through my meeting room, it's, you know what I mean, good morning, coach. Everybody's got a wide eye, wide smile, and uh, showing all their teeth. It's, it's, it's a great time for me. And so I get out of my bed in the morning really, really looking forward to working with my guys every day. So. Absolutely. I'll start off with Calvin Hill. He's um he's on a whole nother level right now. And not necessarily comparing him to everybody else in the room. I'm comparing Calvin to last year Calvin. And I'm comparing Calvin to day one Calvin. Every single day I've seen him trend in a better direction. I challenge him every single day um, to be the pro, be the standard of our room, be the heartbeat of our room. And so I had to get on to him the other day because he didn't have a notebook. I was, you know, how are you going to approach things as a pro when you ain't got a notebook in your room um, at your desk right there? So. Uh, we got that corrected, but he's practicing at a very, very high level, not necessarily with the ball in his hands, but as a selfless teammate in protection. Uh, what I tell those guys all the time is how you play without the football tells me how you feel about your teammates. And so because when the ball is in your hands, you want everybody else on the perimeter to be blocking for you. And so now when we get a chance to do the same thing for someone else, let's make sure we do our 111. All right. So, uh, but Calvin is one of the most selfless kids I've ever been around, ever. Um, I'm serious. He's bought in. He loves his teammates. Um, he wants to make plays, but most importantly, he wants to win. And um, I enjoy coaching him. He's very attentive, attentive in meeting rooms. He does a great job in the weight room, takes care of his body. He's tough as nails. He's phenomenal to coach. Yeah. What about um, Jamil? Okay, yeah. So Jamil Jeter is, um, he is, they're drastically different. You know, Calvin comes in around 5'7, trending right at 200 pounds, and Jeter's right at 6 foot, 220. And he's a handful and uh, does a great job in protection. His demeanor is totally different. Uh, G's got this, this quiet, humble approach to everything that he does. But behind his pads, he's an absolute dog. Um, and he's a handful. He does a great job for us in every aspect of what he does. In between the tackles, pass pro. What I love most about him, too, is that uh, you wouldn't consider how good of a, and natural of a ball catcher he is. You know, out of the backfield, he's got natural ball skills. And, and he runs well on the top end as well. He had a great play for us the other day where um, the, the play broke down and he got out on a scramble and the quarterback checked it down to him and he went around 65, 70 before he was touched and he outran angles and things like that. So um, I'm very impressed with his skill set. He's going to help us. And I know he did a lot of great things in the past as well, but I see him headed in a totally different direction. Like I challenge Jeet every day. It's not necessarily him with between the tackles. I like to see, I want to see him finish. All right, violent with pad level, you know, covering up the football. All those things, they matter so much, the small details. And so we're cleaning up the small details of G's game. You know, if you're six foot 225, you should play like it every single snap, especially when the ball is in your hands. And so we're getting those things corrected now as we speak. Definitely. Um, competitive, but also selfless. You know, not everybody in that room wants the next one to do a great job. Um, I've been a part of some things where in the past where it's competitive to a point where it's a distraction. It's so competitive where the, the man next to you is not necessarily pulling for you. Um, and it is not like that in that room at all. Competitive as heck, but everybody wants to accomplish the same thing. As a matter of fact, I'll be very transparent here. So we break it down every single day on 2K. Because my first day here, I asked those guys, what exactly do we want to accomplish in this room? You know, we got all the talent in the world. I love our play caller here. Coach Spav does a great job. He's going to create touches for this room. So what exactly do we want to accomplish? What do we aspire to get done in 2022? And um, you know, Gene and Calvin were the first two that spoke up. And they said, we want to, we want to make sure we're accountable for getting 2,000 2, yards in some way in 2022. So every single day, we break it down on 2K. And it's a constant reminder. I shoot them a text every now and then and say 2K. It's always on their radar. Um, you told me that's what you guys want to accomplish. So guess what? Every single day, I'm going to hold you accountable to that. And I'll never let them forget it. Yeah.